there's the boat in Burketown, still all covered because overnight this 45 kilometre hour winds came in and uh, it's just not worth taking the boat out and yeah so I know, I know if there's any wind picking up on it because I've got a big sock on this thing and it seems to be doing all right but I don't know how it goes in this wind <laughs> yeah so we're just gonna have a tour around town that should take about five minutes and uh, there's a bakery and a takeaway place down the road so we might go and get some fish and chips and or some um, pies and whatnot it's a chill day yeah we're just going to chill out because it's way too windy to do anything we've done the washing we hung our um our abbott's four drive adventure shirts out and five minutes later pulled them back in because they were dry <laughs> Uh, all right. Cheers, peeps. As you can see, we're just going for a drive through Burketown. Now have a look at the dust storm out there. Oh, this was the Gulf Country Frontier Days Festival. That was a festival that went for three days. Uh, started on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I think they're happy that it finished today. Because mm. look at that dust. So yeah, this is why we haven't got the boat out. because it is ridiculously dusty. That wind is that bad. What's that? Boiling Down Works? And Lands for Tree. Oh, that must be it there. So yeah, we're just going for a drive out to the, uh, the Weir. Is it called the Weir? Hey, you travel, Robert? Yeah, all good, brother. Turn you down. Um, yeah, have a look at the boat ramp and whatnot. Um, and oh my goodness, it is windy. We're in Mum's car. I'm a passenger. Woohoo! Have we got a drive? Here's my driver. Hello. <laughs> yeah, so we'll go out and have a look at a few things around town and whatnot. And um, yeah. Just, we'll see what Burketown has to offer. Just coming into the boat ramp and they've got a wharf and car park upgrade. This looks very fancy. I'll go around to the boat ramp. Do you want to walk out? No. Oh, okay. In the car, I'm comfortable. We'll That's stay here. So that'd be the monitoring station, I dare say. Yeah. I reckon you could fish off that. Should have bought my car because it's running the line in. <laughs> um, yeah, there you go. So there's your boat ramp. And uh, you even got a jetty. This is pretty cool. Hey. Yes, it would have been rather rough out there. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if that's really focusing in too well. That's why it's not auto down. Try that one. Yeah, that's rather rough. That's blown right up that channel where we've got to go because we're supposed to go straight ahead there. Straight ahead that way, up into there. We've got a hug to the left hand side, and then 
and um, yeah, would have gone up the river about seven, uh, about six or so kilometres. Yeah, fair way in this sort of weather mightn't have been that good. I reckon the boat would have been handling. I don't know about us. <laughs> If I take the sock off, I'll give you an idea. We're just headed down, headed down this road to the boiling works and the Landsborough tree. Oh, there's a couple of big boilers. And the Landsborough tree. So there's the boilers. Not 100% sure. What it's about we'll go and read the sign the little information center and we'll see what it's about hey that looks quite love old machinery in the bush mm. Mm. then we'll go and see what the lands tree is about all right we're at the boiling down works uh, apparently the first boiling down works was established in 1867 uh, the plan was to cure beef in brine uh, for export to batavia However, the business was not successful and closed in 1870. Construction of a new boiling down works commenced in November 1891 and was operational in July of 1892. However, it closed for a period around 1893 to 4 due to the drought. In February 1986, 1896, sorry, it shut down again after a quarantine order to prevent the spread of disease and cattle tick. In April 1898, it was announced that the uh, Endeavour Meat Export Agency uh, would reopen the Burketown Meat Works. So in May, it was last arranged for the sale of a mob at uh, Hewenden to the EMEA. Soon after the cattle had moved with the respective drovers, the news came back that the new processing works had been destroyed by fire. They were then repaired uh, to reopen in June 1899. In February 1901, the works was, done, uh, was doing well, uh, processing 20,000 cattle in a season. However, the business had losses from its decision to own and operate its own ships. In October 1901, the works closed temporarily due to a shortage of cattle because of high prices being paid for them uh, from other buyers. In November 1902, the Queensland Government withdrew its meat inspectors from the works because of the closing down of the meat works and the uncertainty about their reopening. By 1905, even though only 18 town residents are listed in Burketown, the works continued in the business of canning, extracting, tally, refining and fertiliser production. In 1911, a bid to secure a railway link uh, from Burketown to the east coast was scuttled uh, when it was claimed that the white ants are making havoc with all the remains of Burketown works. There you go. So, if we go for a wander over here. And this is what remains. They look like two submarines. <laughs> Permission to come aboard, Captain. Permission granted. Hey, so there's quite a bit of debris around. By the, um... Oh, look, the old sign. Boiling works, uh, boiling downs, down works. Hey, just remains, heaps of remains around the place. And they go right off into the other side of the bush as well. Hey, 
Yeah, so a bit of Burktown history here. I don't know if you can see that, but they're up in the background there as well. So they go right back. And yeah. Now let's go and find this Landsborough tree. Yeah, it looks like it. Fantastic, isn't it? I'm a little bit unsure of this one. Yeah, I'm, to be honest with you, I'm not really a tree person, so I wouldn't be able to tell you what a Landsborough tree was. But yeah, but this is there. Yeah, that was quite interesting. The um, there you go, and just scrap metal everywhere. Interesting. egg wash, panko crumbs with garlic and herb. Right, there's something that we've prepared earlier. But I bash the crap out of some uh, chicken thigh fillets. So you just dunk them in the flour, give them a good dose in the flour. Give, it a, give the chicken an egg bath. It's not used to being bathed in eggs, so you're used to laying them, not bathing them. A bit slow, but we got there. And then just dunk them in some panko crumbs with the, uh, the herb and garlic. And then voila, you've got some bush schnitzels. All right, there we go. So we're gonna cook them up. I'll show you cooking them up in a sec. We've got some potato and pumpkin on, and uh, we've got the potato and pumpkin mash with um, um, chicken schnitzel.
tighter and pump, tighter and tighter, tighter and pumpkin. Tighter and pumpkin. With cream. Got some leftover cream, so just put some cream in it. Yummy. And as always, a bit of garlic. Just a little bit of garlic. I don't need much, just a little bit. When we got here, the festival was on, and uh, this was the only spot we could find. There was no bush camping available. Um, well, the festival was pretty big. It's the what was it? The golf, golf country, something festival. Sorry, I haven't mentioned it in one of the other videos, but I just want to let you know that's why we're cooking in a caravan park, not out in the bush. But it's still the same principle. We're still using the same gear here as what we did out there. So. I guess we've got access to water, it's a little bit easier instead of getting it out of drums. So, yeah, so we're just slowly going to cook that over, and uh, when it's done, we'll show you what it looks like when it's prepared. Alright, they're done, took about 20 minutes. Give it a make sure we're well and truly done. That's to be put on like that and then just fancy. fight over it <laughs> but um, yeah simple recipe and uh, comes out really nice oh, yeah. I'm gonna enjoy Do, 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 do. And it's out that kitchen. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, That's we... our new thing. <laughs> right. Hang on. There's a walking track. It goes. Ooh. It goes through there, through the trees. I'm not going through there. <laughs> 